this is Rick Casales from ExercisesForInjuries.com. Who I am is I help people overcome injury and pain with exercise. In this video, what I wanted to go through is three stability ball exercises to improve your hip stability. And I'll get Donna Lee to demonstrate them, but maybe before I get her to do the exercises, I'll quickly explain why this is important. So if you can end up doing some work with a stability ball, which ends up being an uneven surface, so it, it challenges you, it's not a stable surface. And with that unstable surface, what it does is it really works your core muscles, your abdominal muscles, but then also those muscles that end up stabilizing the hip. And if you can work on having strong muscles that stabilize the hip, that ends up decreasing the stress on the knee and decreasing the stress on the back. So it ends up helping with recovery when it comes to injuries in those areas and also preventing injuries in those areas. Okay, now I'll get Donna Lee to demonstrate the three. So the first one ends up being a bridging exercise. So Donnelly has her feet on the ball. You can go a little bit wider to start off with to be a little bit more stable. And Donnelly's lying down, hands are to the side, and then she's tightening her abdominal area and then lifting her seat off the ground so that she's in a good alignment. So she's really working her glutes, her hamstring, and her core to kind of balance herself out. And she's gonna hold that for a period of time. I usually get people to hold that for about five to 10 seconds. So this ends up being level one. In order to challenge it and move on to level two, she can end up moving to unilateral, so single leg bridge. So lifting one leg off and then maintaining the rest of uh, the, the ideal body position. And going to that single leg really starts challenging those hip st stabilizers. And you'll end up noticing the exercise won't double in challenge, but probably like triple or quadruple in challenge. But we're really trying to work on that hip stability and those muscles around the hip. So that ends up being the first exercise, the level one and level two. Now moving on to the second exercise, a hamstring curl. So Donnelly's in the same position. Now what she's gonna do is just lift her seat up a little bit and then bring the ball, pull her heels and bring the ball towards her seat, good, and then back out. Maintaining that plank position, pulling, good, and back out. So now what she's working on, she's working on those hamstrings as well and still working on that core area. To progress it, to make it more challenging and really to challenge those hip stabilizers is to end up moving to a single uh, leg hamstring curl. So lifting the leg up, curling towards her, good, and back, good. And just going through that movement. Good, perfect. Now the third one ends up being in a different position. So with the first two, we were kind of working on that posterior chain work. So working on you know, the, the muscles in the back part of the body. Now with this one, with the ball plank, now we're kind of gonna be on top of the ball. So Donnelly's gonna roll on top of the ball and bring the ball to maybe about knee or shin height. And now what she's gonna do is maintain that plank position as before, tightening up in that abdominal area, head's in good alignment, looking down through the hands, and she can start with just holding that position. Then we can progress to make it more challenging by alternating leg lifts. So lifting one leg up, good. And then lifting the other leg up, good. And alternating back and forth, good, perfect. Thank you, Donnelly. So there you go. There's you know, three exercises that you can do that'll end up improving your hip stability, which tends to be a really common weak spot in people, especially with in the vast majority of people that I end up seeing, but all especially in people with knee pain. So if you have any type of knee pain, look at your hips and see if you have good hip stability. And these are three exercises you can do. You can start off with the level one of them. And when that ends up getting easy, you can end up going to the level two. So going from two legs to one leg.
So there you go. This is Rick Casselge from exercisesforinjuries.com. Make sure to swing by exercisesforinjuries.com. Enter in your injury or pain. There's a good chance to have an article, video, or an interview that'll help you overcome your injury or pain. Secondly, if you're watching this on YouTube, head up above, hit subscribe, and what that'll do is every couple days you'll get a video like this where I talk about tips and tricks on overcoming injury and pain. Thirdly, head down below, hit like, and leave me a question or comment. Now, if you're looking for a solution to help you overcome your knee pain, then check out Fix My Knee Pain. There's more information on, about Fix My Knee Pain down in the description area or just below this video. Or you can end up visiting FixMyKneePain.com. So this is Rick Casales from ExercisesForInjuries.com saying take care and bye-bye.